Hello students, welcome back to the next class of numerical analysis in which we are going to study the central difference operator and the average operator. In our previous classes, we have already studied what is the shift operator, what is the forward difference operator and what is the backward difference operator. If you haven't seen them, you can go and watch out my videos which have already been listed in the playlist of numerical analysis. So let's get started with today's lecture. Now to understand the concept of these two operators as we have seen before, what we are going to consider here is, we shall say that y is equal to fx be the function tabulated for equally spaced values of x, equally spaced that is x, x plus h, x plus 2h up till x plus nh which in turn gives the functional values fx, fx plus h up till fx plus nh or these values can also be shown as y0, y1, y2 up till yn and what is h here? h is the interval of difference that is it is the common difference between two consecutive values of x. So let's start with the central difference operator. How we are going to denote it? It is denoted by delta and how we are going to define it? It is defined as delta fx is equal to f x plus h by 2 minus f x minus h by 2. Previously in all the operators we have taken the value x plus h or x minus h with central difference operator we are going to consider the value in this form that is h by 2 form. This can also be written as delta y i is equal to y i plus 1 by 2 minus y i minus 1 by 2. But we are going to use this particular relation so as to avoid confusion. Now let us see some higher order central differences also. This we have taken delta square fx and this value is going to be equal to delta of delta fx and when we are going to apply this operator to the function fx this value is going to be equal to f x plus h by 2 minus here we have f and this is minus f x minus h upon 2. Again we are going to repeat the same procedure we are going to open up the brackets and then we have to find the value for delta f x plus h by 2 and minus delta f x minus h upon 2. Just applying the expression for this we have the first value will be f x plus h by 2 and again we have to add plus h by 2 because this is what the relation is minus f x plus h by 2 minus h upon 2. Similarly, we are going to find the value for other function as well. This is equal to f x minus h upon 2. Let us write this as f x minus h upon 2. Here we are going to add h upon 2 and here we are going to subtract h upon 2. Alright, now we shall just simplify it further. This value is going to be equal to x plus 2h by 2 that is h itself minus f. Here these two values cancel each other. Then we are left with fx minus fx minus f x minus 2h by 2 that gives you the value x minus h itself. Now opening up the brackets we get this value as f x plus h minus twice of f x and this will be plus minus minus plus f x minus h. So this is how we have found our second order central difference. In a similar manner we can find higher order central differences as well. Now let us move on to our next operator. The initial conditions are going to be the same for the average operator also. Now the average operator is denoted by mu which is also called me but I find mu more convenient to spell. So how it is going to be defined as it will be mu fx equals 1 by 2 of f x plus h by 2 
plus s x minus h upon 2. Now as the name suggests average operator is the average of these two values of the function that is f x plus h by 2 and f x minus h by 2. Now what is the difference between the central difference operator and the average operator? In central difference operator we had this expression this was equal to f x plus h upon 2 and here it was the difference so we had the minus sign f x minus h upon 2. So you don't have to be confused between the two operators. In average we are going to take the average of these two values. In central difference we are going to take the difference of these two values. Now to get a better understanding of the average operator let us try to find the second order average operator mu square fx and this value is equal to mu into mu of fx and which is equal to mu by 2 we are going to take 1 by 2 outside and inside we will have f x plus h by 2 plus f x minus h upon 2. Again when we apply this operator we will have one more 1 by 2 here and inside we will have f x plus h by 2 and here we will have f x plus h by 2. Here we are going to add h by 2 and here we are going to subtract h by 2. This is just a basic trick how to remember it and so as to avoid any confusion or mistake here. Plus the second term is f x minus h by 2 plus f x minus h by 2. In the first part we are going to add h by 2 and in the second part we are going to subtract h by 2. Now there is nothing else uh, remaining. We just have to simplify it that is f x plus this h 2 times of f x plus this is f x minus h. So this is going to be the value for the second order average operator. So let us just revise what we have studied in today's class. If we have a function which is tabulated for equally spaced values of x and the functional values being fx, fx plus h up till fx plus nh, then the central difference operator, it is denoted by delta and it is defined as delta fx equals f x plus h by 2 minus f x minus h by 2. And what was the second operator that we studied today? It was the average operator and how it is denoted by? It is denoted by mu or mean and defined as mu fx equals 1 by 2 f x plus h by 2 plus f x minus h by 2. So this was all for today's class. In the next class we are going to study different types of relations between these all operators. So thank you for watching. See you in next class.